In the last video, we had talked about uh, sketches that turn black. What does that mean, and why would we want to do that? Let's cover that in the video today. So to address this mystery of what makes sketches black, let's highlight our XY plane and create a sketch. And let's draw a line first. And we'll notice that the line has uh, two endpoints and just a straight line in between them. And I can and I can move the two points in any direction. All right. So what if I put a dimension on the line saying that the line has to be a length of, let's say, three inches? Well, now it turns orange. And you'll notice I can still move a point anywhere, but the other point, of course, has to be three inches away, no matter how I manipulate this sketch. So we can say that the magnitude of the line is defined, but its position on the screen relative to anything is undefined. And what do you know? That's what the orange part is down here. Where if something is orange, it means that we know the size that it should be. In this case, the line should be three inches long, but the position or location of the line is still unknown. So I can continue to use dimensions, perhaps. I'll say horizontally, I'll keep one part of this line one inch away from the origin horizontally. And now I can only move this point vertically because it has to be horizontally an inch away from the origin. And so if I put another vertical dimension on there to say maybe two inches vertically away from the origin, well now I can't move this point at all and the point is black. And so the only thing that I can move is this single point. And maybe I'll further define this to say these two points should be horizontal. And you'll notice when I can move nothing, I am fully defined. In other words, every aspect of this sketch has a definition. A Libre knows how to position every single part of the sketch, and so everything is black. Now if I add another element, like an arc right here, well, already because I defined the center on one point and the end point on the other point of my line, the only free point is this point here. And so, of course, we know the magnitude of the arc. It has a set radius of three inches because my line is three inches, but it has what we would call a degree of freedom. And that degree of freedom is this point. Our job is to tell a Libre where this point belongs. And to do that, I'll add a vertical. And when I tell a Libre exactly where that point should be, we again have a fully black sketch. So, when, we, when it comes to sketching, you might say our end goal is to have a fully defined sketch. That is best practice for many reasons. When you go and work in a parametric software, you will find that you have to roll your history tree back a great deal sometimes and change things very early on. When you have a fully defined sketch, those changes come a lot easier and a lot more efficiently. Also, having a fully defined sketch makes things very predictable. We know exactly how a part will fit into another part because we've given definition to every single aspect of every sketch everywhere. So finally, if I draw a line from one point to another, why well, I just drew a line from one defined point to another defined point and the line comes in as black. So we have a fully defined sketch. It is a worthy goal to fully define every sketch that you make and that's what we will do for the remainder of the course, time permitting. Well, hopefully that was a helpful video on using sketches and fully constraining them and why it's important. But in the next video, let's make some solids and explore more ways to sketch efficiently. See you then.